Why was I elect? I don't know. And I don't know anybody who does know. I know there are people who think they know. In fact, probably the most widely held view within the evangelical church with respect to election is the view that God peered down the corridor of time to see who would choose him. And those that chose him in this uh, future got elected. Now, this creates, in my judgment, a profound biblical problem. It may seem like a peaceful way uh, to protect the free will of man and the sovereignty of God, but it really crucifies the sovereignty of God because history becomes, instead of God's plan, merely a movie that God watched in advance and approved of. Not only that, it actually leaves those who are elect in that system with reason to boast. Because it puts, at the end of the day, the power to choose God, which is a good thing, in some people, but not in other people. If only by suggesting that there's a willingness in some people to embrace the gospel and an unwillingness in others. Those who are willing to embrace the gospel are certainly better people than those who are unwilling to embrace the gospel. And so at the end of the day, you're justified because you're better than other people. The biblical doctrine teaches that God's election is for his inscrutable, unknowable reasons. Why he chose me? I have no idea. This much I do know, it wasn't because of anything good in me. Now, there's a second problem with this as well. If you want to put a condition on election, well, it's not because you're better than somebody else. It's because your parents taught you to be sensitive to the reality of your sin. It's because your Sunday school teacher uh, made you conscious of this issue or that issue. Whatever it is that separates those who embrace the work of Christ from those who don't, where did that come from? Who gave me my parents? Who gave me my Sunday school teacher? Whatever condition you want to put on it, it's going to flow back to God's sovereign decree that that condition should be a part of my life. The truth is, the only reason we know that we're elect, I am, you are, others are, whoever is, is for God's glory. I find it interesting that uh, about the only clue we get as to the mindset of God and how he chooses his own, I think is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, where Paul goes out of his way to say, you know, God didn't choose the wise. God didn't choose the mighty. God didn't choose the noble, but the weak and the foolish and the ignoble. That is, the irony is that if there's any qualification or quality that would make you more likely to be elect, it's a negative quality. God chose me because he's glorified in rescuing and redeeming a wretch like me. He chose me because I stink, because I'm terrible. And the same is true for you and everyone else. This is not an occasion for pride. That accusation is often made against those who believe in the doctrine of election. Oh, you're just so prideful. You think God chose you and he didn't choose these other people. Yada, 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 yada. Well, I do believe God chose me. But not because I'm better. 
than those he hasn't chosen. But because he has determined that such would manifest his glory. <laughs>